Hello ladies and gentlemen, everyone in between the genders and dudes of all teenagers. Welcome ladies and gentlemen to week three. This is Thursday Night Mutant Football. Tonight we have the Blitzburg Steelheads and the Leveland Birds and no, we still don't know where the fuck either um, Grim Blitz, Rogue Brickhead Mulligan or Bricks Jr. is. So once again, I am commentating this entirety of the game. And yes, I got my water with me because Things can get a little dicey. A little bit of a pregame stats. Both teams are one and one going into this ball game, and the Cleveland Burns are actually nine to five odds on winning the game. The over/under is believed to be 81.5 points, with the spread being Cleveland Burns winning by 10. If anyone gambled on it, why? I don't have a gambling system in place. Well, unless uh, you decide to do your own gambling business and whatnot. Anyway, that's not important. Let's go ahead and get started. We'll be bringing to you this action live from Fist Energy Stadium in Cleveland, Ohio. We have 11 rocks, 9 mutant traps, 7 fire pits, and 5 mutant worms all over the field. Weather forecast today is toxic smog and acid rain. We'll be heading to the Goat Toss to determine today's game. It is brought to you by the Radio Demon himself, Alistair. Please use caution before sealing any deals with them. And the captains are lining up to the field, and it looks like the toss is going to be made. And the winners are the Leveland Burns. We will determine in just a little bit um, what the Leveland Burns decide to do. Meanwhile, we have our pre-game warm-ups brought to you by Evil SN. By the way, the refs do have their own cash apps and Venmo apps. I managed to get them all set up. All right. Speaking of which, the Cleveland Burns have won to toss and will kick it off to the Blitzburg Steelheads. Vile Fiend. The Burn Retriever is set to return it. And is slammed down at the 35-yard line. That means the Cleveland Burns will receive the second half kickoff. We will now start the proceedings first and 10. Ball on their own 35-yard line. 649 left in the first. Ball is snapped. Sent straight to the running back. Nats, Nas, Nasty Scaris. And gets a gain of 8 yards on the play. It is second and 2. Ball is now set up. Snap to the quarterback. This time, they, he is looking for a receiver. And hits it wise, thing nice and going. Clara Kelbron, the wide burn receiver, is taken down at the team's opposing 27-yard line. It is now first and 10. I don't know what exactly happened, but Sven Roslisberger, the team's starting quarterback, is now dead and gone. That was a quick exit. And now they'll send it over to the running back, Nasty Scaris, for a gain of five. It is second down, five yards to go. Mason Rudikoff is going to try and find a receiver, and it is no good. That's going to be ruled an incomplete pass. Third down, five to go. Teams are now setting up. Quarterback receives the snap. Looking for a receiver. And sends it over to... Oh! I don't know what exactly happened there, but there was a fumble on the play after getting the catch. And Cleveland Burns will return the ball all the way to their own 35-yard line. It is first and 10. Invadian Frowny will be credited with the interception. Amazing performance, and that means Cleveland Burns will now take to the field for the first time. It is first and ten. Ball at their own 35. Baker Minefield sending it over to Graveyard Diggins. Oh, and gets his back broken on that rock right there. But it will gain them around 11-ish uh, yards. First and ten. Sets the ball to the running back. Takes it all the way past the yellow line. Still not going down. Took him a little bit, but will gain an additional five or six-ish yards. 
And we lost Baker Minefield. Holy crap. And not even the first few minutes of this game, we have already lost both starting quarterbacks for both teams. This is going to get real deadly real quick. First and 10, ball at the opposing 29-yard line. Sends it over to the running back, Nick Chubby, and is smacked in the head at the 26-yard line. Second down, seven yards to go. Teams are lining up. Quarterback to receive the snack. Oh, we got an in fuego. Dirty trick play. Nick Chubby on fire. Ooh, and is taken down at around the, I forgot to read the marker, 13-yard line, first and 10. They didn't get the touchdown they wanted, but they got a fresh set of downs, and they're only 13 yards away. They're now in the red zone. Kareem Blunt smacked down after just a gain of one. Pretty pathetic there. It is second down. Nine yards to go. Ball on the opposing 12. Snaps the ball. This time looking for a receiver. And gets a loss of 10 yards on that sack. Where in the world was the offensive lineman? Good God almighty. That was just a horrible, horrible protection play. All right. Quarterback to receive the snap. O-line doing a much better job this time around. Sends it over to the right receiver and gets a gain of around 10 yards. But that's not going to be enough. It is fourth down, five yards to go. And it looks like they're going to go for it. They are going to go for it, ladies and gentlemen. Will this pay off? No, it will not. Stopped cold. Oh, just. Oh, wait a minute. We have a penalty here, ladies and gentlemen. It is a bullshit penalty. Oh, my goodness. We're still talking about that OJ crap. Come on. Well, that is going to give them half the distance to field goal, and they're gonna act, not going to have much options. They are defense having to jump onto the field to kill the ref. Izzy's always for sale. He's going to come on as the new ref. Issues the 15-yard penalty, which in this case will be half the distance to the goal line. And that's going to be a first down. Just two yards to go. Definitely not what the Blitzburg Steelheads were wanting. Levin Stinkowski, the owner, is definitely not happy. Sends it over to the wide receiver. And, oh, I think we got another dead quarterback. Yes, we do. Ace beat him. Second quarterback dead. The Cleveland Burns only have three quarterbacks left. If they end up dying before the end of the game, they will have to forfeit. Lines up at the one-yard line. Second down. Sends it over to the running back. And we've got no problem. That is a touchdown. Oh, wait. I take that back. Looks like they weren't. Looks like the uh, Leveland Burns weren't the only ones bribing the ref. Oh, I know you did not. Oh, is he always for sale? You are definitely going to get killed for sure. Oh, this is, this is not a uh, politically correct environment that you were working in. Oh, this is hell, ladies and gentlemen. All right, Blind Willie Toker. Issuing the 15-yard penalty and will take over for as the new ref until his ass gets uh, mauled in the second half. And that will do it for the bribed referees for the remainder of the first half. So, yes, with all those penalties now played, it is now second and goal. Ball on the 26. Mullins, the quarterback, looking for a receiver. Juice gets caught by the middle linebacker. Devil Swoosh slammed at the four-yard line. It is third and goal. Setting up. Quarterback takes the snap. Oh, it looks like a gigantism 30 play, but it does not pay off. Leveland Burns still retains a touchdown. Nick Chubby with a running back. Be credited with the touchdown. That's the first of the game. Six points will be added to the Leveland Burns score. And now they will have the option to run it in for two or kick for one. They're going to kick for one. Snap, place, kick, throw the uprights, chip shot, extra point, put it on the board. And after that touchdown, 
running run. Cleveland Burns on top, 7 to nil. Kickoff is now being made. Vile Fiend, burn returner, set to return. And gets stopped cold at the 35-yard line. Does not get an inch further than that. They will start the proceedings right there. It is first down, 10 yards to go. Quarterback sends it to the running back and gets only a gain of four yards. Second down. Snaps the ball to the quarterback. This time looking for a receiver, but gets sacked on the play for a loss of seven. Third and 12. And that is number 97 credited with the sack. That's his first of the game and his second of the season. He lined up on the on the 33-yard line, third and 12. And that is officially going to do it for the uh, first quarter, which is brought to you by All Elite Wrestling. Now 100% Punk 3. Cleveland Burns leading this 7-0. We now start the second quarter of play. Seven minutes on the clock. We have also changed ends of the field. Sending it over to the running back, Nasty Scaris. And only a gain of two on that play. It is fourth down. And another quarterback dead. This time it's number two, Mason Rudkoff. So if you had number two on your mute, dead mutant bingo card, mark that down. We haven't had a winner so far. Hopefully we'll get one this evening. Anyway, they'll send it off to the punter. Punter is going to make a nice big punt, but it will quickly be returned by Brute Sickle. Oh, takes it all the way past midfield and gets wrestled and slammed his head on the metal flooring. And number 69, Kevin Stompson is going to have to head to the sideline. He'll be injured for the time being. Cleveland Burns will start the proceedings on the opposing 44-yard line. It is first down, 10 yards to go. Sends it over to the running back. Oh, an instant. Oh, we got a fumble on the play. Blitzburg Steelheads will recover thanks to that out-of-nowhere lightning strike. I was not expecting the lightning to be hitting the stadium this uh, evening, but we got one. Nick Chubby running back is now officially dead. 6.02 left in the second quarter. It is now first and 10. Blitzburg Steelheads will start the proceedings on their own 39-yard line. Insane Hackett's quarterback. And that gigantism, dirty trick will contribute to the incomplete pass. Well done by the defense. Second down, 10 yards to go. Sends it over to the quarterback, over to the running back, and will gain about eight yards. Third down, two yards to go. Ball will be on their own 47. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot. Ball is snapped to the quarterback. And we have a beast boost injection. Nasty Scaris, the running back, having a hard time being taken down. He's going to try and gain as much yards as they... Oh, what in the world happened? They lost a the ball and a fumble. I think that is what, the third? Third turnover of this game. Good Lord Almighty. Nobody's offense is doing good. And we have a forfeit alert. Insane Hackett's number three is dead. And there's only two quarterbacks remaining on the Steelheads roster. They lose that quarterback. The game will be over. Before the before halftime? Oh, they need to watch out. We're going to send the ball to the running back for a gain of zero yards. Really, very short game, not much to mark it down. It is second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 30. Green Blunt sending it over to the running back. And gets Judo thrown to the ground at the 43-yard line. They do get a first down, so they will move the chains. Fresh set it is first down, 10 yards to go. Sends it over to the running back. Uh-oh. He might get a fumble. Ooh, not dead yet. They're going to need to change out the running backs pretty soon. That guy's health bar is quite the lows, and yes, they will do that. Second down, two yards to go. Ball on the opposing 49. Trick Mullins, the quarterback, 
is wrestled to the ground for a sack. Loss of 12 on the play. Joe Slowhurt will be credited for that sack. That's his first sack of the game. His second sack of the season. It is third down, 14 yards to go. Ball at the their own 38. Things aren't looking up to them. Quarterback to receive the ball. Looking for a receiver. Furnace Wompson is going to make it past. First, first down line is still going to keep going. Oh, gets his head smashed into that metal wall there. But his brains are still intact. Only a small concussion there. It is a first down. Ball on the opposing 31-yard line. Snaps the ball. Hands it over to the running back. And gets Judo thrown onto the ground at, at the exact 25-yard uh, line. It is now second down, four yards to go. Ball is snapped. Hands right over to the running back. Makes it easily past the yellow line and into the red zone. Ball on their own 15-yard line. It is once again first to 10. Teams lined up for the next play of the game. And we have a two-minute warning. All right, they are once again set at their opposing 15-yard line into the red zone. Quarterback receives the snap, sends it to the running back, Kareem Blunt. Didn't really get too far, only a gain of two on the play. Cleveland Birds will take their first time out of the ball game. It is second down, eight yards to go. Green Blunt receiving the running play. They will send out a measure marker crew. And they said they are just half a foot short. It is going to be third in inches and another timeout, this time by the Blitzburg Steelheads. Snaps the ball, hands it over to the running back, and that might be enough for a first down. They will have to review if that ball crossed the line. And after review, the ball did not cross the line. It will be spotted at the six-inch line. First and goal. Very close. Sends it over to the running back, and that's going to be another six points on the scoreboard. Cleveland Burns now with a two-possession lead, 13 to nil. They are set for the point after touchdown. Teams are now setting up for the one-point attempt. Hit, snap, place, kick through the uprights. It's all good. This now puts Cleveland Burns up by 14 unanswered points. Blitzburg Steelheads trying to receive the ball and hopefully get something on the scoreboard before halftime. Lyle Fiend to return the ball. And it's wrestled to the ground. Chumba Oko Okabor, left guard for number 76, dead and gone. With a minute and five left in the second, it is first and ten. Ball on their own, 38. Receives the ball. Oh, and that's a bombs away dirty trick. It has failed to take anybody out. And the hurry up offense has now been activated. Second and ten. Over to Slashua Bobs, quarterback. Sends it over to a receiver who will not get it going. That is quite embarrassing. It is now third down, 10 yards to go. Hurry up offense once again been activated. Hasty Scaris and is wrestled to the ground fourth and 11. My goodness, this has just been a disaster. And yeah, it looks like they're going to go for it. No, they will not. Well, they were going to go for it, but Blitzburg Steelheads have called a timeout. And looks like they're going to go ahead and just send out the punting unit. 
Once again to the Cleveland Burns. Cleveland Burns trying to return it. They'll get wrestled down at their own 45 yard line. It is first and 10. 27 seconds to go in the first half. Quarterback receives the ball, looking for a receiver. To juice! Wide receiver and is wrestled down at the with 11 seconds to go. Will a timeout be called? Yes, it will. Leveland Burns this time calling the timeout. They're looking for a three-possession lead going into halftime. Nine seconds left to go in the first half. And they're just going to go ahead and get the field goal unit on board. The ball is snapped. It is placed. And through the uprights it goes. An additional three points will be tacked on board. That is 17 unanswered points. Blitzburg Steelheads are going to need to be pulling together some bribe money in the locker room once halftime hits. They'll do one kickoff play since there's still one second left on that clock. Vile Fiend going to attempt to make an instant touchdown. That is just not going to happen. That is officially going to do it for the second quarter. It is halftime. Today's halftime sponsor is Card. It's corn, 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 corn everywhere. Visit Nebraska today for all the corn you can eat. Oh, did I mention that this that the halftime sponsor is corn? I know, right? Take a look at the staffs right here, and you can tell right away. Blitzburg Steelheads, they need to get something going in the third quarter. Looks like someone's a fan of Bob Ross right there. Oh, oh my God. All right, here we go. We're going to go ahead and start the second half of play. Cleveland Burns to receive the second half kickoff. And hopefully make a four possession game. Brute Sickle, his first return of the season. It is first and ten. Ball on their own 34. Cleveland Burns only have three quarterbacks remaining on their roster, so they need to keep them alive as long as possible. We'll wrestle them down to the ground. Second and seven. Ball on their own 37. Has to call to the quarterback. Sends it over to the running back. Loss of two on the play. Yikes. That is quite embarrassing. Third down, nine yards to go. Sending it over. Oh, we got a gigantism, dirty trick play, and it is a pass deflected. Fourth down, nine yards to go. I have a feeling that the punting unit will be sent on. That's exactly the case. Let's see how the punting unit works. Busting Cotton, the punter, what in the world? That's going to be a touchback. I have no idea why uh, the burn returner decided not to uh, return that one. Ball will be taken at their own 20, first and 10. Sends it over to Nastascaris. Running back and is wrestled to the ground. First and 10, ball at their own 39. Sending it over to Slashua Blob. Looking for a receiver and is sacked on the play. Almost eaten alive by that mutant worm. Vile Scarlet to be credited with a second tackle. First sack and nice deflection. This guy's been on a roll. Second down, 14 yards to go. Five minutes, 10 seconds left in the third quarter. This is over to the running back, Nasty Scaris. Spare it on that play. Ain't going nowhere. It's now on their own 43. Sec third down, six yards to go. Defense looking for a nice stop. Slash or blobs trying to find a receiver. Keep this drive alive. Where? What in the world was that receiver doing? Besides being a low cow. It is fourth down, six yards to go. And they're going to send out the punting unit. Receives the ball. We'll punt it away. 
And it goes over to Brute Sickle, burn returner. Uh, looking to take it past midfield, but gets stopped at their own 45, and that's where they'll start the drive. First down, 10 yards to go. Teams are lined up. They'll receive the ball. Kareem Blunt, running back. Only a gain of two yards. It is second down, eight yards to go. Ball on their own, 47. Quarterback receives the ball. Sends it over to Juice. And is wrestled down at the opposing 38-yard line. Just enough to pass the yellow line. First and 10. Snap the ball. Green blood to receive. Makes it past the 25 and definitely going to move the chains for a fresh set of downs. They'll start a new set of downs at the opposing 24-yard line. First down. Trick Mullins, the quarterback, sending it over to Graveyard Diggins. And that's an easy slide into the end zone. Touchdown, no penalties. Cleveland Burns now with their 23rd unanswered point on the scoreboard. Defying all expectations here. Blitzburg Steelheads, I thought you want to go to the Mayhem Bowl. I thought Steelheads got a Mayhem Bowl. What the hell is this? Steelheads ain't got a Mayhem Ball. At this rate, Steelheads got a Tank Ball. They will now set up for the one-yard point. Or extra point. Snap, place, kick through the uprights. Now it is 24 unanswered points with 3.05 left in the third quarter. Time is not on the Blitzburg Steelheads side. They will try to receive the ball and hopefully get something going. Foul Fiend to return the ball. Smack down on the play. Watch out for that mutant worm. There's a hole right there. Mutant worm does not come out. It is first and ten. Hits it over to Slash Bob. Over to receiver Nasty Scaris. And is wrestled to the ground. And we have a penalty on the play. Uh oh. It is another bullshit penalty. And it looks like fish bootlegs is what they're trying to excuse. What the hell is all this crap? Okay. Well, that's obviously going to back them up 10 yards. And they're not going to be happy about that. Offense is going to jump off sides and kill the ref. And we're going to get a new ref. It's Bill to Shill Hill. 15-yard penalty. And I think it's just going to be half the distance to the uh, goal line. That's how far back they are. No, it's going to be another 15 yards on their own 10-yard line. It is first and 30, freaking five. They got to get going. Uh oh, watch it, watch it. Look for a receiver. They'll find it in Nasty Scaris. And a good gain of 21 yards. But they still have a very long way to go. It is second down, 14 yards to go. Ball on their own, 31. He sees the ball, hands it straight over to the running back. That's Scaris. Ooh, a choke slam right at the 39 yard line. Third down, six to go. Cleveland Burns looking for another three and out defensive stop here. Slasher Bobs sends it over to receiver and gets it this time. Finally, he's going to get something going here. That's going to move the chains and fresh set of downs. New set of downs will be on their opposing 44-yard line. Slash for Bob. Looking for a receiver. And, oh, that was a bombs away dirty trick. Nobody fell for that one. Nobody died. Oh. So that's going to count as an incomplete pass. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball over the quarterback, Nasty Scaris, and a gigantism dirty trick on the play. And he will make it past the yellow line, keeping the drive alive, fresh set of downs. They'll place it at their own, at their opposing 32-yard line, excuse me. It is first down, 10 yards to go. Flash to a Bobs. 
Sending it over to Nasty Scaris. Past the yellow line again. This time they're in the red zone directly on the 20 yard line. Once again, it is first and 10. Blitzburg Steelheads finally getting something to go, but they are burning up way too much clock here. Nasty Scaris is choked down. Are they seriously going to end the third quarter with nothing on the scoreboard? If they have any chance of getting back in this game, they better freaking not. They will get a first down on the seven yard line, so it'll be first and goal, seven yards away from the touchdown, and that will do it for the third quarter. Which is third quarter breaks brought to you by the Houston Astros, making dirty MFL players blush since 1962. We are back in the fourth quarter. It is 24 0 in favor of the Cleveland Burns. Blitzburg Steelheads looking to get something on the scoreboard. Slash Robobs. Oh my goodness, he's going to actually try and take it in himself. And with just six inches to go, he is stopped cold. Yes, he is stopped cold. Going to try it again. Second and one. Dude, run that in yourself. Oh my goodness, where was defense that time? Everyone just went to the back like, dude, get in the end zone already. We don't care. So that will be a first touchdown of the game by Blitzburg Steelheads. Penalties have not been introduced. Yeah, the quarterback was definitely right. If the defense ever did show up. Seriously, what was the defense doing back there? Orgies are not supposed to be until after the game, morons. Anyway, they'll kick an extra point. It is good. And Blitzburg Steelheads finally get something on the scoreboard. They are behind, though, 7 to 24 with 6.32 left in the fourth quarter. Cleveland Burns going to need to run down the clock and keep their game alive. The burn returner gets wrestled down at their own 33-yard line. It is first and 10. It's over to the quarterback. Running back to receive the ball. Only a gain of two yards. It is second down, eight yards to go. And there's only two quarterbacks left on the team roster. Trick Mullins is now dead. So both teams only have two quarterbacks left. If they lose them before the end of the game, they will have to forfeit. That will be quite the embarrassing. Zach Blood Moon, quarterback. Oh, gets clotheslined on that sack. That's the fifth tackle of the game for number 20, Slammer and Glutton, and will be credited with his first sack of the game, and that's his first sack of the season. Third down, 19 yards to go. Zach Blood Moon, quarterback, looking for a receiver, and uh, what the fuck happened on that play? It just went absolutely nowhere. Fourth down, 19 yards to go. Sacked Blood Moon. Quarterback. Sacked! Sacked! Sacked like crazy. B.B. Watts. Unbelievable. Sixth tackle of the game. First sack of the game. That's his fourth sack of the season. First to ten. Slasher of blobs. What in the world's going on here? Second down, 19. That was a loss of nine. Oh, I should also mention that this was a that the uh, two plays ago was the uh, turnover on downs. It is now second and 19. That's Scaris trying to run the ball in. Gone nowhere. 5.06 left in the fourth quarter. Blitzburg Steelhead still down by a lot. Still three possession. Quarterback receives the zap. We got a beast boost injection. Dirty trick. Can that scares be stopped before going into the end zone? He will most certainly not. Touchdown, Blitzburg Steelhead. No penalties, so the score sticks. And now... We are down to a two-possession ball game. And it looks like they're going to try for two points. 
He'll try it. And a two-point conversion is good. So that means the Blitzburg Steelheads is only down by nine points. 4.35 left in the fourth quarter. Blitzburg Steelheads might actually come back and win this game. Cleveland Birds, what are you doing? You are choking this game. You are Atlanta Falconing this freaking game. Blitzburg Steelheads is going to attempt an onside kick. And that's no good. Ralph Betonio taken down at the opposing 36-yard line. Nice try. That's not going to work. It is first to 10. Blackbird Steelheads will need to get some serious stuff going. Uh-oh. And Fuego, dirty trick. Now activated. Green Blunt. Oh, boy. Everybody's just on fire. Green Blunt just, ooh, finally take it down. But not before passing that yellow line. Ding in the bell. It's a first down. First and 10. Ball on the opposing 21. Just one yard away from the end zone. 21 yards away from the uh, touchdown zone. I think I messed up on the commentary of that part there. Anyway, sending it over to the... Oh, we got a zap. But the offense will recover from that fumble. I think we have a dead player. Yes, Kareem Blunt, dead and gone for the rest of the game. That's number 27 on your mutant football Demune bingo card. Second down, one yard to go. Ball on the opposing 11. They are now in the red zone. Zach Blood Moon sends it over to Juice, and Cleveland Burns gets a touchdown. Oh, wait, we have a bullshit penalty. I think that's the best time to finally get one going, don't you think? Blitzburg Steelheads. Okay, that one is a little bit justified. Who the fuck wears Crocs with socks in fucking public? Ref attack now underway. Cleveland Burns is going to get backed up another 15 yards as they get a new referee. Johnny Cash Pockets. Leave the jokes to the professionals, moron. You just do your damn job refereeing the game. Anyway, it is second down, 25 yards to go. Zach Blood Moon receives the snap. Look for a receiver. Oh, what happened there? That's going to be ruled incomplete. Knocked loose. Third down, 25 yards to go. Cleveland Burns really need to get something going. Zach Blood Moon sends it over to Juice. He might make it past the one-yard line. No, it will not. Fourth and 11. What will they do here? Sending out the field goal unit. Try and keep the lead nice and big. And they will turn a nine-point lead into what is now a 12-point lead. Two possessions for the Blitzburg Steelheads. They have two minutes, 36 seconds to go. It is going to be a normal kickoff. To be returned by, oh, Vile Fiend, who almost got eaten by that mutant worm there. And is going to get Judo thrown onto the 35-yard lines. 2.25 left in the fourth quarter. Blitzburg Steelheads needs to run it in, get a touchdown, two points, and then get the onside kick. If they have any chance of winning this game. Nasty Scaris, running back, is wrestled onto the ground. Second and seven. Ball on their own 38. Slash where Blobs receives the snap. Looking for a receiver. Eon Slay responds in. Nice going. First down, we have our two-minute warning. And the hurry-up offense is now officially underway. Slasher or Blobs. Ooh, and it's sacked on the play. That's exactly not what they were looking for. Vile Scarlet credited with his third sack of the ball game. That's his seventh sack of the season. And they gotta get it going. Blitzburg Steelheads will call a timeout. 141 left in the fourth. Blitzburg Steelheads getting a little 
Getting a little apprehensive. They need to get going now. Slash or Bobs receives the snap. Sends it over to receiver. May Slay shoot. Oh! Can't get it going. Third down, six yards to go. They're going to call their second timeout. They have one remaining. It is now third down, six yards to go. Sashra Blobs. Quarterback sends it over to May Slay shoot, and they will finally get it in. Touchdown, Blitzburg Steelheads. And now the lead has been reduced to six points. What will they do here? One eighteen left in the fourth. They will attempt a one-point conversion attempt. <coughs> Ball is snapped. Kick. Small snapped place kick. The one point is good. And now the difference between them is only five points. Blitzburg Steelheads. Try for an onside kick. And that was just the most pathetic onside kick. Yes, five-yard illegal kick penalty. The ball needs to go at least 10 yards. It was not the case. So Cleveland Burns will start the proceedings on the opposing 30. No, wait, they'll just back up and try it again. They'll try the onside kick again. This time it goes to the 10 yards, and this time they will pick it up. Oh, my goodness. They were allowed to try that onside kick again? Um, I'm gonna have to review the rules, but I, I thought you have to thought you had to give it up on to them on the 30. I guess there must have been a rule change or maybe I misread the rules. Maybe I got it confused with the XFL or something. Anyway, number 55, Devil Scrush, injured on the play. Blitzburg Steelheads now with an opportunity to get in the league and probably win the game. 104 remaining in the fourth quarter, and they're starting out pretty damn good. Nasty Scaris. Ooh, gets stuffed on that play. 58 seconds to go. Blitzburg Steelheads. They'll use their final timeout with 56 seconds left to go in the game. Second down, 11 yards to go. Ball on the opposing 23. The hurry-up offense has now been activated. Quarterback receives the snap. Looking for a receiver. Sends it over. He loves response it. Gets it in. And just like that, the Blitzburg Steelheads gets a touchdown. Cleveland Birds, you choked away a 24-0 lead. How do you do that? Cleveland Birds, you choked away a four-possession lead. Unbelievable. Blitzburg Steelheads looking for a two-point play. And a two-point is good. It is now 30 to 27 in favor of the Steelheads. Steelheads might once again head on over to the Mayhem Bowl. Steelheads gone a Mayhem Bowl. Steelheads gone a Mayhem Bowl. Steelheads gone a Mayhem Bowl. But the Cleveland Burns still has an opportunity. They have 43 seconds left in the game. Now it is up to them to get back in the league. Brute Sickle, burn returner. Somebody stop him, and fin somebody finally does. He gets stopped at their own 40-yard line. Number 23, Bro Hayton of the Blitzburg Steelheads, dead and gone. And I have been told that several fans are now one number away on their Demian bingo cards. And they gain, a and they gain eight yards on the play. First time out made by the Cleveland Burns. 24 seconds left in the fourth. Hurry up offense now been activated. Cleveland Burns. Trying to see the ball. To DeBernis Robson and yeah. <laughs> oh, that's just a low cow. Second time out called by the Cleveland Burns. They have one time out remaining. It is third and nine. Blitzburg Steelheads looking for that epic stop. Says over to Zach Blood Moon. Ten seconds to go. We'll pick it up. Oh, we might see overtime. Oh, we might actually see overtime. Final timeout made by the Cleveland Burns. Blitzburg Steelheads needs to stop on this final play of regulation. 
Cleveland Burns. Oh, they're far enough to get four points in the lead. Kicks it up. It's a four points good. Yes, it is. It is worth four points in the lead. And the Cleveland Burns, just like that, regains the lead and prevents an epic chokeout. Cleveland Burns go to two and one and is one step closer to the Mayhem Bowl. Blitzburg Steelheads, holy crap. You ruined your own comeback. And, and you actually did the Heimlich maneuver on the Cleveland Burns. Oh, MVP is awarded to number 82, Graveyard Diggins. And that is going to do it. The final stat sponsor is Dasani Water. We've been salting your water, so you stay thirsty and buy more. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you guys for being here. That's your final score. What an amazing contest. We'll see you next time.